What's going on everybody, it's Corbman, and today on Destiny, I'll be showing you guys how to level up your Husk of the Pit really fast. So if you want to do this, first you got to get the Husk of the Pit. you got to do that by killing a Blade of Crota. I suggest restarting the Fist of Crota mission and killing the Blade of Crota near the beginning to get this. That's the best way to do it. Um, I actually got it by making a new character. When you are a low level character, you have a higher chance of getting it because you get common drops all the time. So, um... That is how you would get the Husk of the Pit. The reason you want this gun is because you can upgrade it. And once you upgrade it all the way, it'll become an I Eidolon Alley. And after that, that's a legendary item. It's an alright gun. You know, it's alright when it's upgraded, but it's not the best. But the reason you still kind of want this is because this will allow you to get the Necrochasm. Which is like the equivalent of the of the Vex Mythoclast. It's the new, you know, exotic raid weapon, pretty much. You get from upgrading it, uh, from the Crux of Crota, which you get from the hard mode raid, from killing Crota. So anyways, on to the video. The fastest way you can upgrade the Husk of the Pit is by starting the mission The Awakening on the normal difficulty. The reason this is the best way is because all these cursed thrall continuously spawn, and when you kill one of them, they all explode at once, and all those kills, or explosions, count as one kill. So, once you get to here, they will continuously spawn once you take all these guys out and you kill the Shrieker in this room. After you kill the Shrieker and all the Cursed Thrall in this room, you can just come up to this door over here and literally just farm them as long as you want. Within about 30 minutes, you shall have an upgraded Husk of the Pit. So like I was saying, just come down to this door right here after you, you know, clear all these guys out and they will just keep pouring through and if you're near the door it's like they'll come in packs so you don't ever have to worry about not killing them all at once like as you can see here I'm kinda struggling like there's always one lingering and these guys even though they're just thrall they still kinda take a little while to kill because honestly the husk of the pit is it's a common weapon it's not good at all and that's why we're upgrading it to become the Eidolon Alley and then after that we can get the Necrochasm so like I was saying, um, you can see the progress by pressing start and uh, the little green bar is going around your husk of the pit and eventually it'll be completely full and if you have an embalming orb, you can actually use that to upgrade, you know, to the Eidolon Alley. So just keep doing this and eventually your progress will get even higher as you can see here and you will have your Eidolon Alley. And as you can see, I'm almost there. Just a few more batches of Thrall, and I'll have my idol on Alley, and that's it. Um, I guess before we end this video, I will say, you don't have to stand in this location. You are totally free to go on through this door. Um, the reason I suggest standing in that door is because there's a Shrieker in here, and if you, if you kill the Shrieker, then they stop spawning. But t typically they spawn down there or up there. And, you know, it's just really convenient because they come to you just as fast if you're, you know, in the door and you just can sit there and not worry about anything, hardly even put effort into it, and within a little time, you know, they'll, you'll have your item alley. So, after this batch of Thrall, I will actually have the upgrade unlocked, as you can see right here. And, upgrade unlocked. So once this happens, you kind of got to celebrate for killing a thousand Thrall. And just, you know, I, all the grinding in this game gets real. <laughs> um, I'm just going to go out on this Shrieker because I can't stand Shriekers. They are the worst thing ever. <laughs> Anyways, um, so once you get that and you have an Embalming Orb, all you have to do is go over to it, select it, and upgrade it. If you want an Embalming Orb, you have to be rank 3 for Eris. If you're not rank 3 yet and you're wondering how I'm already there, well, you can duplicate your bounties to rank up a lot faster, which I have a video of, which I'll leave in the description. So, as you can see, I have my Eidolon Alley, and now all I need is my Crooks of Crota, and then I'll have my Necrochasm. And that's it, guys. I'm Corbman. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like it. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace out, guys.